Any modern era UFC athlete is worthy of a Hall of Fame distinction despite having never realized a UFC title. I would submit to you Donald Cowboy Cerrone. His resume reads like a UFC record. And he just keeps on getting better. Every time you think Cowboy is starting to get to the end of the road, he reinvents himself. He makes some small change to his game that allows him to compete at the highest level. The run that he went on after beating Alexander Hernandez and then coupling that with the massive victory over Ally Aquinta, you thought watching that you were watching the very best Cowboys in the you've ever seen. And this is at the tail end of a career that spanned over a decade. And his new source of motivation, his son Danger, these are very legitimate championship aspirations for Donald Cowboy Cerrone trying to move one step closer to his Donald Cerrone ready to battle and take home that elusive UFC goal. Justin Gaethje and anyone else you want to throw in the mix. This is about as watchable a fighter as we have on the UFC roster, the former interim lightweight champion, El Kukui, Tony Ferguson. Tony Ferguson is just nasty from the elbows that he lands on the feet to on the back, the submission ability that he possesses. One of the most diverse strikers in the UFC and with a college wrestling background, every time you step foot in the octagon with Ferguson, you know that you have your hands full. And there's some fighters who just don't like training, right? Frank Mir would always say, I don't like to train. <laughs> Tony Ferguson loves to train. He'll go five or six hours hard. That's great. And from a work ethic standpoint, you guys can be able to watch that. Tony Ferguson, set to fight Donald Cowboy Cerrone. Tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Now for the official introductions, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Donald Cowboy Cerrone. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending USC heavyweight champion of the world. Tony of the Kui Ferguson. Herb Dean, third man in the octagon tonight. All right, so this highly anticipated stand-up only event is now underway. Friendly reminder on the rules and hopefully you play by them. No grappling of any type. So if you like striking, this is the event for you. Also, fighters cannot do follow-up strikes on the floor. This is a stand-up only event. Let's see how it plays out. Chins on them. Huge shots being landed on both sides. Just misses with that one. Oh, good block there. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on the Alright, so we have got a full-on brawl to start this fight. Any concern that these guys might burn themselves out? Oh, they're going to exhaust themselves. So we may as well enjoy it right now. Because come the third round, regardless of the weight class, they're going to look like two tired heavyweights in the middle of the octagon. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Donald Cowboy Simone. Three minutes now to go in this one. No denying that he grabbed him, but couldn't quite get the finish. He hurt him real bad. Uh, how about the accuracy to land right there? His opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. Oh! Well, 
champ. I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bottom. Oh, yeah. Enough hurt. He's hurt bad. And the front kick there by Cowboy Saroon. And blocks that hard punch. Well, it didn't take him long to get a good read on his opponent. Another good series of kicks there. He thought the kicks would be a key tonight, and they sure have. Preventing it from becoming a major factor here moving forward. All right, so there's the end of the round, and on one side, thrill on the other, agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed, great punch landed to put his opponent down. All right, here we go with our second five minutes now. Great. Round two, Great. Tony Ferguson. Great. That man dominates. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up. Kill shot is what they call it. He's going in the fight. Oh, big left hook there. Oh, nice body shot. He's looking to land the right, just out of range. Cerrone's eye is closing up now, not good for him. Just missed with the left there. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Oh, effective use of the jab by Tony Ferguson. So 57 total strikes have landed for Donald Trump. Heard him again. Back to the feet. Oh, my goodness. Well, we may have the best cut men and women in the business, but I'm not sure they're going to be able to do much with that cut. It continues to widen with every passing strike. And you're fighting a great fight. It's hard to deal with the damage of the cut while dealing with the level of the fighter in front of you. Right now, you've got to do something different to try and change the way that this fight is playing out. Oh, picture perfect shot there, DC, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight. That shot landed perfect. And that's, that's the danger in the engagement there. Oh! All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso, and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. You, you see a fighter with a high fight IQ following the game plan. And oh, that'll do it! Tony Ferguson with a huge knockout tonight. Oh, my goodness.
All right, Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Bruce. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 22 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Tony El Capri Ferguson. Well, there's only one Tony Ferguson, and he got his hand raised in a big way here tonight. It's a pleasure to watch him train, pleasure to watch him compete, and he certainly did so at a high level. Tonight. Tony Ferguson moves to the beat of his own drum, but it's okay because he hears the music very